In this video, part 7, I want to explain what these charts are. Now, I'm using the Derwent Inktense pencils, this range in this tin. There's two layers in this tin. Now, starting on the left hand side, I'll work through the colours, and there's 72 colours altogether. Now, I've applied quite a heavy pressure on each pencil, colouring each block. I've wrote down the name of each colour and the code for it. Now, the reason for this is if we've got a subject we want to paint, we can lay this over the top to determine a near colour to start using. Now, we cut out each hole with a paper punch and lay this on top. So that's ideal for finding an approximate colour. Over on the right, let me show you this. Again, we're working through the 72 or 71 colours, incidentally, because one of the colours is a waterproof outliner. So with each colour, we've started in the yellow range. I've applied heavy pressure, medium pressure and light pressure. That will give us three tonal values for each particular pencil. I can do five tonal values or seven if we do the ones in between, but three is suffice. Going through all the 72 colours, or 71 colours, we've come to this one here. I've left these blank so I can show this one in the demonstration. If we look at this pencil, for example, it's the violet. Now, if you look on the end, it's quite difficult to determine that colour unless we're referencing against another, even on the end. Now, by colouring in three variations of tonal values, and I'll just colour this one in, as you can see, I'll just start in the corner like this. Try not to go over the lines because it's quite difficult to erase these dark colours. And I'll just colour that corner in. I'm turning the pencil so I've got the sharper edge every time. As I wear it down, as I'm applying pressure and wearing it down, I'm, I'm turning it like this. It's giving me the sharp edge. The sharp edge makes it deeper and more intense colour. And I'm doing little ovals. Now I'll do the next one, but I'm just going to brush off the little particles. I'll apply less pressure on this one. And now for the final one, I, I take my fingers up to the end of the pencil like this. Make sure, just, just rub on this one. Just make sure it's rounded. So then I start applying the pressure here. I, I'm just going to go uh, ovals. These are long ovals I'm doing here. Just to finish this one off. Then small little ovals on the end like this. And then a diagonal. Keeping the pressure constant. Light pressure I mean. Just enough so that I can see the colour. If I go over the edge. I just use this. Brush it off. Now I'll write in the code number 0800 for this one and it's just violet. Now I'll complete this in a minute. Now the main reason for making these charts is we're going to use them as reference. Now remember these here, we've got three tonal values that we used on the cube in the previous lessons. Now the next bars that I'm going to create, the called blending bars where we take two colours and we blend them together and we see what colour it creates in the middle. As you know for example yellow and red makes orange in the primary colours but we're going to talk about six primary colours making secondary and tertiary. So look out for that next video. In the meantime you can look below in the details and go to the link and print these charts off. Once you've finished colouring the charts, naming them um, you can then keep them in one of these sleeves, one of these, it protects them and you can keep them in the file or just take off the white tack or blue tack on the back. Once we've made and completed these charts we will use them later on when we start doing actual pictures of subjects where we're trying to determine the colours, what colours to use, what colours to blend to give us the different tonal variations and shadow sides and cast shadows.
but that'll be much later on. We've got a few more videos to go yet. So thanks for looking in. If you do like the video, please click the like button because it really does help encouragement and uh, viewings on YouTube. So subscribe for and look out for my next update in lesson eight. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye.